House. Oh, Shara. Wherever my son goes, I go. Simple. Dennis. Hmm? What, what is this? You, you gave your mom the keys to my house? Kemi, you asked too many questions. Well, that will not push us out from the real issue at hand. Do you want to make love to my son? Why climbing on top of him? No, Kimi, tell me. Is that part of your plans to emasculate my son? What in God's name are you talking about? Dennis, what is she talking about? Oh, leave Dennis out of this. Face me, woman to woman. My son is not going to lie under a woman while trying to make love to her. You have to lie on your back while my son climbs on top of you and makes love to you. We don't have all night. Lie down. Let him make love to you. Come on. What is it? Why are you standing there like that? Um, I'm sorry, Ma. He, but he's still standing outside the office. I thought I told the security not to let him anywhere near the premises. Um, Ma, they kicked him out of the office building, so he managed to find his way back to stand just at the gate. Actually, he wasn't causing any trouble, so the security men let him be. That's, that's fine. He can stand there for eternity. But I do not come in here talking to me about him again. Have you heard me? Yes, ma. Yes. Excuse me, boss. stand dating that man anymore. Him and his mother. Him and his mother? I don't understand. What do you mean? Listen, I love Dennis. You know that, but... But his mother... I mean, she, she, she's everywhere. She's everywhere in the relationship. I have known that man eight months, and I still can't get to do anything with him without his mother hovering in the background. Kemi, I remember you telling me that this boy has been close to his mother ever since he was born. I mean, since his father ran out on them. So why are you complaining about their closeness now? 
You and your boyfriend are about to make love. And his mother decides to sit and watch. Excuse me. Not only does she want to sit and watch, she also wants to tell you both how it is done. No, no, no. Stop it, Kemi. That's not true. That sounds like a comedy. Lisa, there's nothing comic about this. It can ah. happen in real life. It happened to me. Whoa. In my house. <laughs> Oh girl, I, 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 I can't. I mean, God knows I love that man. I love Dennis. But his mother would drop him off at my house and come back to pick him up. Like he was some kid in kindergarten. No way. I'm telling you. No freaking way. What? And Dennis is comfortable with all of that? You see, that's where I had a serious problem. Dennis didn't seem to have any issues with the way his mother was manipulating his entire existence. He was just okay. I'm surprised though. I mean, do men like that still exist? Girl, if I wasn't stuck in the middle of this sickening drama, I would have thought the same thing. But, you see, that is why I want out. But this guy will not leave me alone. Follows me everywhere. He's at my office, he's at my house, everywhere. Kemi, my piece of advice, you need to stay away from such a man. I mean, it's one thing to manage a man. Adding his mother to the equation is too much a baggage for any woman to carry. Yeah, you can say that again. Who are you expecting so long? Mm -hmm. Are you? Who's there? I will not speak to your son. Not today. Not any other day. I want nothing to do with him. My son loves you. Kemi, do you know what that means? I'm sure you're going to tell me. Oh, yes, I will. For my son to love you, that means you're now taking a part of what belongs to me and me alone. Kimmy, what is she talking about? Oh, keep your tongue stuck to your mouth. Jeez. Don't spit on me again. Wait, did she just insult me? Lisa, Lisa, please. I I'm sorry, yeah, okay? Fine. Let me just handle this myself. Yeah, it's fine. Ma. I respect you. Because you were old enough to be my mother. But do not let me throw that respect into the gutters. I don't need your respect. Don't you get it? You came from nowhere to steal the love my son has for me. And you expect me to be happy? Really? You're not happy. You're not happy your son loves me? I love my son. And he loves me too. That love I won't share with any other woman. Not even you. Good. Now you keep your son away from me. You heard her. I won't kill me. I won't, I won't kill me. I won't, I... Will you shut up? Shut up! Shut up! I won't kill me. Will, will, will shut up! Shut up! She told me she doesn't want you. I want to be with her, mom. She said so in clear terms. What is wrong with you? How dare you? How dare you sit here and talk about another woman like that before me? How dare you? I gave birth to you. I went through hell to make sure you are living. I spent my youth and all my life taking care of you. I stopped living to ensure that you leave. You sit here and tell me you cannot live without another woman. How dare you, Dennis? How dare you? I am the only woman you should ever love because I was there. I suffered for you. I suffered taking care of you. 
when every other person ran away. Don't you ever forget that, Dennis. Don't you forget that. Jojo, take the car. Go out there and get a girl for my son tonight. Eh? Come back. Get me three beautiful trending girls. I'll pay. I want them to spend good time with my son this night. Don't get it. Don't touch it. Go on. I'm not touching any girl. I'm not touching any girl. How could a mother treat her own son the way Dennis's mother does? The woman is destroying the man that I love. I would gladly give my life for Dennis, but not with the mother hiding in the background and watching us like a hawk. Thank God I'm done with him. Let his mother continue keeping him like a personal food carpet. I don't care. What am I doing? This is the man I love here. Why am I throwing him away to the wolves? Shouldn't I be trying to save him from the monster that is his mother? I'm so confused right now. So confused. Danny! Dennis? Ah, thank God, please open up, please, 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 please. Just, just hear me out, please, please. Don't, 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 don't push me away. I beg you in the name of God, Kenny. I need to talk to you. I need to speak with you, please, please. It's important, please. I beg you, Kenny. Please, open up, please. Kenny! Is she your mother with you? Oh, no, 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 no. I'm alone. I'm alone. Just, just please. Let me in. Let me in. Kevin, please. Let me in, please. Please. Kevin, please. Please. Ah, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Look, I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. I know I have offended you, all right? But please. Look, as I stand here with you right now, I am willing to do anything it takes to make you happy. Please don't push me away, please. Calm down, then. Please. Uh, why are you here at this time of the night? Oh, I had to run off. I had to run off. I took one of the keys from the house and, and I ran off. I, I came here because my mother, my mother got three girls to come spend the night with me. She, she wanted those, those girls to have sex with me tonight, but I couldn't do it. No, hold on a minute. Your mother got three girls to, for you to sleep with? I, and I suspect they are prostitutes. You know, she wants them to have sex with me so that I can forget all about you. You know, she, she's, she's, she, she, she's, she's trying to, to, to separate us. But Kemi, I love you. Okay, it is you that I want to be with, please. Please, find it in your heart to forgive me. Since I met you, my life turned around. I can't, I can't, I can't, I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. I had to come here to be with you. Please, don't chase me away. I want to stay. I want to stay here. I want to stay with you. Please, 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 baby, please. What's wrong with you? Hmm? What can you stop? Can you stop? I'm going to put on my top. If you don't stop, if you don't stop, go and get the top. Go and get the top. I should go and get the top. Go and get the top. Go and get the top. Wait, just allow me to touch it one time. One time. Just one time. One time. Just one time. One time. One time. Oh, baby. I love you. I love you too, baby. I want you to move in with me. Mm -hmm. I want you to move in with me. I mean, this house is pretty much like your house anyway. And I want us to start our lives together properly <sighs> without the interference of your mom. Hey, Kemi. Hmm? I, I don't know what to say. You know, I... All my life, I have lived with my mother. You know, she she has always been around. And we need to... 
We need to get rid of her. Derek. Honestly, I cannot... I cannot do this with you. With your mom always hovering around us. She's everywhere. Okay. You have to make a decision, Dennis. It's either me or your mom. Because this space is it, it, too small to, 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 for, for the both of us to survive. I mean, I, 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 I can't. I, I turn right, she's there. I turn left, she's there. We look forward, she's there. Okay, 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 okay. Can I think about it? Please? Please. Please, baby. Let me think about it. Okay? Come on now. Smile for me. No, smile when you move in. No, you smile when I tickle you. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 tickle me! No! No, please, please, okay. Dennis! Where is my son? Where is my son? Where is my son? Please, there's no need to shout. Will you shut up? Shut up! I snap your leg in two. Where is my child? You need to go home with me! Child? Ma, he's a grown-ass man. When are you going to start talking to and about him like the adult that he is? Will you shut? Oh. My baby. Baby. Do you know the kind of pain you've caused me? When I found that you were not in your room last night? I brought you some girls to have fun with. Do you want to kill your own mother? Do you want to kill me? You're causing me pain. Mom, please. It's okay, it's okay. We are not going to talk about it here. We'll go home and then we'll talk about it. We'll go to the car. The car is parked outside. When we get home, we're going to talk. He's not going anywhere with you. This is his new home. Excuse me? Ma, please, I mean no disrespect towards you. I actually want you to come to like me and see that I am not, I'm not trying to tear you and your son apart. I love your son. I love him so deeply. And I want to spend the rest of my life with him. I know you love him too, but you cannot give him the kind of love that I can. Please, ma'am. Let me love and nurture him in an atmosphere that is, that is best for us. Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Oh, baby. You can imagine the kind of insults I'm faking from her, all because of you. Baby, please. We have to stop this whole nonsense once and for all. Let's just start going. The car is parked outside. Baby, come, let's go. No. No. Did I just hear you, Brad? What did you say? What did you say? Mom, I love Kemi. I love her so much. I, I want to stay here with her. I want, I want, I want a chance to, 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 to start something with her and grow with her. Mom, please. No! 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 You have to come with me. You are my son. I, I love you. you. You have to come with me. You. You will regret this. It's a promise.
What is wrong with you, Ken? Have you lost your mind? Oh, calm down, sir. I mean, it's not that bad. I can explain. You can explain? I, I think you've explained more than enough already. How could you let this guy stay with you? Uh, because I love him. And I'm prepared to fight for him. Fight for him? Yes. With his mother? We're not talking about you fighting with another girl over him. We're talking about his mother here. I mean, this is someone who enjoys being around his mother. Then he enjoys being around you. Well, it was his personal decision to move into my house and not mine. Kemi, I think you made a mistake by allowing him come stay with you. I mean, a man like that needs a lot of time to get wind from his mother's breasts. A lot of time. Well, that is what I'm trying to do, right? That's why I've taken him out of his mother's house so I can properly wean him, like you put it. Lisa, come on, this is the man that I'm in love with. And, and, and all I'm trying to do is, is, is help him to become a man. And that's the only way he can be useful to me. Well, it's clear you've already made up your mind about all this. But always remember that you are fighting a woman as bitchy as Dennis's mother. Listen, girl, I, I understand your fears, okay? And I appreciate your concern, but, but I love this man. I'm in love with him. And you're my best friend. So, so I need your support on this matter. It's fine. You have my support. A hundred percent. Don't worry. Happy for you anyway. Thank you, darling. So, what about his mother? What about his mother? Uh, has he made any contact to go see her ever since he started living with you? Uh, none that I know of. Except the woman comes to see him in the house when I'm not there, but. Huh. This girl. You must have really worked your magic on that guy for him to just forget his mother like that. Lisa, why they talk like this now? Don't you know me? When I finish what I have to do to that man in the bedroom, trust me, he forgets everyone I want him. <laughs> Kemi, bad girl. You're very <laughs> But do you think it's a good thing for him to forget his mother? Why should I care? Girl, that woman was emasculating the guy. Listen, I don't care about all that. All I know is I am a happy woman. I have my man all to myself. And that's all that matters. Any other thing is just said it. What about when you both decide to take it to another level? You know things are bound to change, right? I don't understand. You want to get married to Danish, right? Of course. So definitely things are bound to change. I mean, before you both can become man and wife. You need to reconcile with his mother, since she's the only living relative he has, according to what you told me. Besides, he needs to work and earn money. I mean, like this, you won't continue to provide for him. Think about it, Kim. Think. What are you doing to her, son? What are you doing? Mom, I, I, I don't understand what you're talking about. 
I thought you said you loved me. You told me you loved me. You told me many times you would never allow anyone to come between two of us. Now I can see you never intended to keep that promise. You do it to us, son. What are you doing? I'm so crying now. Don't leave me. Let me cry. Let me, let me cry. I've been crying for the past two weeks. That's what I've been doing. Can't you see you're, you're hurting me? Can't you see I'm in pain? Can't you see? I chased all the eligible men coming for me. I chased them away just because of you. I don't want anything to take me away from you. But what are you doing to me now? What are you doing? <laughs> Mom, I'm not, I'm not leaving you because, because of Penny. I love her. I really love her. Mm, she's a good girl, you know. She's a good girl. Okay. Since you said she's a good girl, why has she not allowed you to come and visit me even for once? Uh, well, I... I you see? To... Has she ever mentioned my name to you? No, Mom. You see what I'm talking about? She's trying to separate us forever. Is that what you want? No, tell me, is that what you want? Mom, Mom nobody can separate us forever. <laughs> You're my mother and I love you. But, Mom, I love Kemi too. I love her and she's doing a very fine job taking care of me, Mom. You need to see how she takes care of me. She papas me. She, she gives me food when I should eat. She buys me things. I mean, she, she takes me out. She, she buys me clothes, she buys me stuff, you know, she makes me really, really happy. Mom, do you know that Kemi is like you? Okay, if you say she's just like me, tell her you want to come and pay me a visit just for one day. And see if she will agree. Okay, Mom. I love you, son. I love you so much. I love you. I have spent my entire life taking care of you. I don't want any harm to come to you. I love you, please. I don't want to lose you. I just don't want to lose you. I love you too, Mom. I love you. <laughs> Stop crying, Mom. Stop crying. I don't want to lose you. Stop crying. Mom. I don't want to lose you. What did you just say? That I want to go now. I want to go and see my mother. Listen, baby, look at me now. Why do you want to go? Did, did, did I do something? No, you did not do anything wrong, Kemi. You know, it's just that I have been here for what? Up to two weeks now. And I have not seen my mother since that period. Eh? Throughout, I've just been here. Let me see her now. Okay. I know what it is. You miss your mom. And, and that's understandable. Hmm? Maybe we should just, you know, call her on the phone. No, Joel, no, no. Kevin, no. I want to go. I want to go and see her. What Dennis, is what is you? this? What is what? What is this? I have left this house since morning and I've had a rough day. You keep everything that I went through outside and, 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 and I come back to this? What is all this? So you don't want me to go? No, no, I do not want you to go. I don't want you to see her, no. <laughs> uh -huh. They said it. Oh, she said it. She said what? 
My mom was here today and she told me that if I tell you that I want to come and see her, that you refuse. Ha, ah, Kemi. Kemi. Ha. Ah. Please, please. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I yelled at you. Just calm down now. I, 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 mm -hmm. I don't want you to go. I have to go. I, I've been here for, for what? For how, for how long now? Almost three weeks. You wake up in the morning, you, you know, we do in, in the night, you come back, we do. Let me, let me go and see my mother. I have to see my mother. Yes, let me see her. Then stop. How want you want me to go? Then. Den Dennis. Ken. Thanks, man. Thanks yeah. for coming on a very short notice, sir. Huh? I got you, bro. Thank what you. friends for? Thanks. So, tell me, you sounded like you and Kimmy had a fight. Is everything okay? No, everything is fine. I, I just got tired of staying here. I, you know, I need a change. I, I want to go to my mother's place. Your mom's place? Yes, yes. Did you and Kimmy have a fight or not? No, we are not fighting. I am just, you know, I just want to go see my mother. Your mom? But Dennis, I don't get it. Two weeks ago, you told me you were moving out of your mom's house. You know, we we celebrated. We had a drink over it. When now are you going back there? Ken, what's the problem now? Can't I miss my mom again? Guy, does your babe Kemi live in there or not? Oh, yeah, she does. So take me in there and introduce me to her. Why? Because I need to let her know she's making the biggest mistake of her life. Letting you run off to your mom's. I'm not Ken. Ken, you're beginning to talk to me like but a child. But you are a child, Dennis. You are. You just you just have the body of a man, but you are a child. Ken, don't insult me. Why, why are you insulting me? Because I told you to come and pick me up. Guy, your mom is controlling you in ways that are really unhealthy. She's puppeting you for goodness sake. I mean, yes, she did everything to raise you. I agree. But she doesn't have the right to puppet you like that. Enough. Okay, enough. Please. Enough. Thank you very much. Now tell me, are you going to drop me off at my mother's place or you want me to catch a cab? Dennis, you're my guy. I've known you since childhood. While I'm married with three kids, I'm still clinging on to your mom's breast. I, I don't get it. Why? You know, enough. Ken, enough of your... Enough. Please. Now, are you going to take me to my mother's place or not. If you're not going to take me, just tell me so that I can catch a cab. Okay? And thank you for not also dropping me off. I will what? catch a cab. When I get to my mother's house, my mother will pay for the cab. Thank you. Dennis. Well, Dennis. I miss you too. Leave us. I prepared your favorite meal the moment you called you're coming. Ah, thank you, Mom. Here thank you. Mom, do I look good or did I lose weight? You need my meal. Thank you. Uh, Mom. Yes, there. The, the cabman that brought me. Yeah. He needs to be paid. Okay, I'll do just that. Thank you, Mom. <laughs> Let's go. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> you need my food. Thank you. Can I help you? My name is Kenneth, and I believe you're Kemi. Do I know you? No, not yet. 
but I'm Dennis's best friend. He called me out here last night to pick him and give him a ride, but we kind of got into an argument and he left off angrily. I'm just here to see him He's and tell him. Here. What? You mean Dennis is not here? He left last night to, to his mom's house. I, I haven't seen or heard from him. What? You mean, in spite of everything I told him, Dennis still went off to his mom's last night? What is wrong with this boy? You say you two are best friends. Yes, we are. We went to school together, grew up in the same neighborhood. We're best friends. I see. That means you're just like him. But I, but I don't understand. What do you mean by that? What I mean to say is simple, Mr. Kenneth. That if you and Dennis are best friends, then <laughs> I take it you're still living in your mom's house. It's in off the palms of her hands because you do not have a job. And you never have. Right? Wrong, Kemi. Very wrong. I'm a married man. I live in my own house. I've got two great kids. And I run a very good business. Matter of fact, I run a good business with 16 employees. So, does that answer your question? I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, I... I had a rough night. And I still have a... Still yet to recover from the... The way Dennis just left me. Dennis's mom has always been extremely overprotective of her son. I remember when we were in high school, she would drive Dennis to school, drop him off, and she would still wait at the school gate till school closes. You're kidding. I wish I was, but I'm not. <laughs> I remember the, the first time a girl went to see Dennis at home. She got the beating of her life from Dennis's mom and her driver. Jojo? Yeah, Jojo. He's been with her since he was a teenager. Is he married? I mean, does he have any family? I ask because every time that I've gone to see Dennis at his mom's house, I, I notice he doesn't say a word yeah. or react to anything other than Dennis's mom. Yeah, that sounds very much like Jojo. Frankly speaking, Nobody seems to know anything about Jojo. I don't know if he has a family. I don't know anything about him, except that he's very loyal to Dennis's mom. Oh. So I, I have been wasting my time, deceiving myself that I could, could turn Dennis into the man that I would love to spend the rest of my life with. Kemi, do you love Dennis? With everything in me. With my, my spirit, soul and body, he's, he's my life. Then fight for your man. Dennis is a great guy. You know, I know he's been messed up in the head by his mom. You know, and he's only looking for the next convincing person to listen to. But Dennis is a great guy. Kenneth, I, I don't know. Kemi, fight for your man. I've never heard Dennis speak about any other woman as lovingly and as emotionally as he speaks about you. Don't leave him, Kemi. Fight for your man. You need to take things easy, Kemi. I don't like the way you're handling yourself over this issue. I can't take it easy. I can't. I mean, Dennis hasn't been to my house for nine days. Nine whole days! Maybe that's because he doesn't want you anymore. Why don't you take it as a sign to just move on with your life? What is... You don't get it, do you? I love this man. I mean, I love him. I love him more than life. I, I need him. What is wrong with you? How do you love somebody who doesn't love you? 
He loves me. Dennis loves me. I'm telling you. His mother is the problem. If you take the woman out of this equation, he, I have him all to myself. Okay. I'll say it again. I don't like the way you're handling yourself over this issue. But I'll suggest you go on a vacation. You know, just go somewhere far. Have fun. Stay by the poolside. Just... That's it. That is it. What? You are a genius. Thank you, dear. I love you. What did I say? Um, I'm ready to go out. To where? I'm, Mom, I'm going out with Kemi. No. Well, what do you mean no? I said no. No, but I told you now, Mom. I, I, I told you. We, we talked about it now. That I, I, I'll be going out with Kemi today. You know? You remember I told you that she wants to take me shopping. She wants to buy me very nice, you know, the nicest things. And... Dennis. If you step out of this house, I'll break your head. Mom. Mom, don't spoil my joy now. Please let me go now. I said no! That's fine now. What is fine now? What if I, 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 I sneaked out of your house and I, I told them? That's how you do it. Please, 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 don't do that. How dare you? How dare you continue to play your silly games with me? Listen, Dennis is my son. I own him, not you, not any other girl. I have come here to give you my final warning. This nonsense has got to stop, and it must stop now! See you if I see you anywhere around Dennis. I swear I will kill you. You must play with him long enough. The games are over. If you come anywhere near Dennis again, I will make sure you disappear from the face of this earth. Come Run! Run! Run far away! Don't dare me! Don't dare me! on my son. On no account must he leave this house without you with him. If that harlot who calls herself Kemi comes close to my son or close to this house, make sure you let me know. I would plug her eye and give to the dog. Kenneth, tell me, tell me what to do. Tell me what to do to get my man back. He has been locked up in, in his mother's house for days. I've called several times for him. His phone is switched off. I even drove past the house on several locations just to, just to see if I could get a glimpse of him with nothing. Yes, <laughs> yes I'm telling you, you have to help me because I'm losing it's my okay. mind. Okay. Okay. God. Calm down, Kemi. Okay, just calm down. I can help you get a message across to Dennis. You can? I will. Hmm. 
Oh God, Jojo himself. Oh God, Jojo. Jojo Lingus, Jojo Lingua. Oh God, good, good morning, Oga Jojo. How you day? It's been a while, oh. It's been a while we saw. Huh? You look uh, a bit fatter. Your stomach is even rounder. Oh God, Jojo. Oh God, Jojo. Uh, okay, anyways, uh, it's Dennis in. I'm here to see Dennis. To see you. It's good to see you. You know, you I just too. thought to just pop up from work and see you briefly Hello. before. I... Oh, good morning, ma. Good morning. How are you? I'm fine, thank you, ma. <laughs> you look good as always. <laughs> thank you. We are trying to take good care of ourselves. Absolutely. <laughs> Lovely. Yeah, it's there. <laughs> so, how are you? Uh, I'm. I'm good, ma. I'm fine. Uh, Dennis. Yes. Uh, do you mind? Let's we we'll just sharply see outside. We have some small business, you know, to talk about. Ah. Oh, business! <laughs> I like business. <laughs> <laughs> yes, ma. I know you do, uh, but you know, it's just some quick guy talk. You know, I won't take much of his time. Then feel free to discuss the business right here. Dennis is fine to discuss the business in front of me. He's fine, right, Dennis? Hmm? You're fine, right? Yes. Yes. It's it's okay. Can not talk now? Hmm. Can you can talk? Oh. Kevin, Kevin, How did you there is fire on the mountain. There is fire on the mountain. What do you mean? And what Dennis happened? is in the middle of that fire. What happened? I'm still shocked at what I saw there. Dennis's mom won't let him out of her sight, not for one second. She sat down there beside us the whole time I tried to talk to him. And then I suggested to take him out so we could talk privately. But she refused. She insisted on going with us to talk. What? I'm still in shock, Kemi. It's very obvious that woman won't let Dennis out of her sight, not for one second. Not one. Oh, God. My baby. My poor baby. He must be so sad. Sad? I disagree with you, Kemi. I beg to differ. Dennis didn't look sad at all. Matter of fact, he looked very contented with having his mother there beside us. It's hopeless. I'm telling you, nothing good can happen. Except we get Dennis out of that house. And we have to help him. You have to help me. Please, Kenneth, please. Listen to me. I know I talked to you about trying to help Dennis out of, out of this mess he's in. But from what I saw today, nobody can help Dennis. Not even you, Kimmy. Uh, no, no, please don't. Please don't say that. Listen, and listen to me real good. You can only help somebody who wants to be helped. You don't force a horse to the river and force it to drink still. Dennis cannot be helped by anybody. So just 
Forget about Dennis, Kemi. Forget about Dennis. Move on with your life. Find love elsewhere. You need to move on. Him. His, his mother has, his mother has, has made it so difficult. I have done everything, but I still can't reach him. Toto, please, I, I know you don't know me, but I, I love Dennis. I love him deeply. I just, I just need you. I need you. I need you to give him a message for me. Please. Kim, what's the problem? Please talk to me. I've lost him, Lisa. I've lost Dennis forever. What happened again? His mother. She has him under lock and key. Dennis doesn't go anywhere without her. <laughs> and then... And it's all my fault. I mean, I, I shouldn't have let him go back there. Not, not after all I went through to get him out of the house in the first place. Kimmy, what's the matter with you? Why are you tearing yourself apart because of this guy? Because I love him. And does he love you as much as you do? Yes. Well, if he does, he'll stand up and fight for your love. Lisa, you don't get it. My Dennis is not the problem. It's his mother. She's, she's brainwashed him, she's colored his brains and, and, and turned him against me. The mother has turned my Dennis, my poor baby, into a wimp. But what is wrong with you? His mother is controlling him and you're trying to do the same thing. Yes! Lisa. See. You know what? You've overstayed your welcome. It's time for you to leave. What? You heard me. I said get out of my house. Get out and stay out. Love should be sweet. Love should be celebrated. If it causes you too much pain and makes your life miserable, then you walk away from it. Don't let this love for Danis destroy your life, my dear friend, please. Thanks for your advice, but keep it to yourself and leave. I said leave! That's right, I'll... Did you let me out? After delivering your message to me. Can I? I've missed you so much. I miss you. Dennis! Hey! What? What are you doing? I... You're supposed to be sleeping. Uh, sorry. Rest? Why are you not resting? Really? Yes. So this was the plan. What? To come and meet me in my most vulnerable state and dump me like some roadside harlot? No, no, Kimmy, let's, let's, let's not fight. Okay? 
Let's not fight. You know I love you. Eh? I, didn't, I, didn't, I didn't come here for us to fight. You, you, you know, I, I, I came here because Jojo told me that you miss me. And I miss you too. That's why I came. Jojo told you that I miss you? Yes. And that's all. Mm. Dennis. Dennis. Dennis, why do you... Why do you always make me feel like I am having an affair with a six-year-old boy? You're talking like that now. I'm not a six-year-old boy. I'm not a six-year-old boy now. I, I don't... I, 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 don't talk to me like that. I don't appreciate it. I'm not a six-year-old boy. Yeah. That is so true because your actions, your behavior is worse than that of a six-year-old. You know what? I'm done. Dennis, you win. You and your mother, you both win. I'm done with this, with this nonsense. Go back to your mother, suck your new mother's titties, if that would give you some sense. Rubbish! I'm done! <laughs> What are you doing there? Go upstairs, go to your room and stay there. I'm not going to my room. How dare you, Dennis? I need to speak with you, Mom, and you have to listen to me. How dare you talk back at me? You want to speak to me and I have to listen. Is that what that evil girl asks you to say when you come home? Mom. I need you to listen to me. I love you, Mom. I love you so much. I love you with all of my heart. But I love Kemi. Mom, I love that girl and I don't want to lose her. Never! Never! You stupid. You are a stupid boy, Dennis. The kind of life I give to you. Every young man of your age are killing for. Tell me, why are you pining away for one stupid girl? When I can arrange thousands of girls for you every single night. I do not want a hundred girls, mother. I want Kevin. She's the one that I love. Never! 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 She's the one that I want to be with. If you truly love me like you have always told me that you do, then let me be with the one woman that I have come to love with all my heart. Never! Never! You belong to me. You will stay with me until death. Do you understand me? Only death can separate us. Don't let me lay a thousand curses on you and blacklist you from everything that I own. Now get inside and stay there until I decide otherwise. Mom, I love Kemi. I have to let him go. For his own sake, my sanity. Are you sure you can handle that? Because I know you love him so, so deeply. I have no choice. Keeping him with me when he's not ready to be a man. It's just me taking him from his mother's house to create another place like his mother's house in my own house. Just, just take it easy, okay? Where's my son? Where's my son? Dennis! Dennis! Mom, please. Dennis! 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 Where's my son? I want my son! Your son is not here. Please. And stop shouting. I need to go to work. I want my son! I want my son! Can't you understand? I noticed my son did not sleep in his room throughout the night. Where is my son? I want my son! I want my son! 
for the very last time. Your son is not here. He came here last night and I sent him back to you. That should make you happy, right? No, no, I don't believe you. I don't believe you! You are a liar. Harlot, my son was fine before you came into our life to destroy the peace and happiness we shared together. The happiness you shared? The happiness you shared that was built on a false foundation? You raised your son to be a boy, even though he's an adult. You raised him up to be a sissy. All because you needed to ensure that he was kept by your side forever. And you think that it's love? That is not love, man. True mother's love is one that makes a mother raise her son to be a man. Good enough to love another woman in future. It is the love that makes a mother train her daughter to be a woman good enough for a man. Now anything aside that is wrong. If you know what is good for you, if you know what is good for you, we provide my son. Let me go. Provide my son. Let me go. Let me go. Let me have my son. Let me go. Let me go. Dodo, what are you doing with a gun? Have you got not? Now, let me have that gun. One more step towards me, Kiki, and your obituary will be announced before the end of today. Don't dare me. Now, I don't have much time to talk here. Let's get down straight to business. Kiki, do you really want to see your son and in good condition? Juju, so you have my son? Yes, I have him. And if you don't do what I asked you to do, I am going to kill him. Where is my son? What do you want? Where are we? What's going on? Can, can someone talk to me? Papa, who are these people? What's going on here? Juju, you have a child? You have a child and you didn't mention her to me? God! I thought I knew you all this while. I'm beginning to feel like a foolish child. So foolish indeed. Nerima, how are you today? I'm fine, Papa. You haven't come to see me in a week now and I've been worried. Don't worry, my dear. Everything will be settled today. You are going to get that man of your dreams today. Is he here? You brought him here? Yes. Oh my God. Can, can someone please just tell me what the hell is going on? Kidnapping is a serious crime in this country, in case you do not know. Hey, move. Oh my God. Mom. Oh my God. Mom, get me out of here, please. Dennis. Get me out of here. Dennis. Get me out of here, Dennis. please. Get me out of here. Release him. Get me out of here. Get me out of here. Get me out of here. Please, get me out of here. My love. Release him. Release him. Stay where you are, woman. Release him. Release my son. Stay where you are. Release him. Release him this moment. Release my son. Release him. Release my son. Stop. Shut up. He's only the God. He's only the God. Shut up. 
Don't tell me to shut up. Don't tell me to shut up. I am sick and tired of this drama. If you don't release my son this minute, I will destroy you. Your son is the reason why we are all here. My son? Yes. Three years ago, he promised my daughter marriage. And today, he is going to fulfill that promise. This is a, this is a joke, right? Kemi, this is not a joke. Woman, look at my daughter very well. You may not remember her quickly because she's now the shadow of herself. Take a close look at her very well. You have to remember her. I don't know her. I've never seen her in my entire life. I don't know her. Good evening, Ma. Yeah, good evening. Yes? My name is Nari Mama. I'm Dennis's girlfriend. Dennis is your boyfriend? Yes. You? You of all girls, you, Dennis is dating you. But Ma, we've been dating for more than six months now and he even promised me marriage. Dennis, my son, promised you marriage. Yes. Are you stupid? Don't you know when young boys want to get in between a lady's leg, they will tell her whatever she likes to hear. This is not a joke, Ma. Dennis loves me. Don't step your feet into that compound. You just get out of my sight. Get out of this vicinity. Oh, now I remember her face. But so what? She's among the girls that is tripping around my son. Really? She is my daughter. My only child. You destroy her and turn her into a recluse. I never knew she was a daughter. Why is it hard for you to comprehend that? You have destroyed the lives of a lot of young women. Kiki, my daughter is the one that will destroy you today. This does not concern me, people. It's true. This doesn't concern me. I, I'm done with Dennis. I've broken up with him. I, I have nothing to do with him anymore. So I'm just going to walk out of here like nothing happened and I pretend I didn't see anything. Not so fast, Kemi. You are going to witness the marriage between my daughter and Dennis, right here. Narima, you're a beautiful girl. You're still very young. Is this what you want? A forced marriage to a man that doesn't love you? Will your father chase the both of you for the rest of your lives with his gun? Jojo, I know you love your daughter and you're doing all this for her, but do you, do you really think it is in her best interest to carry on with this mockery of a marriage? This nonsense must stop and it must stop this minute. What do you all know? You don't know anything about me and my son. I don't have any regret of whatsoever the way I brought him up. His father was a rich man before he died. He rejected my pregnancy. My parents also rejected my pregnancy because they felt I brought shame to them. I was supposed to abort him, but no! I suffered. I suffered. I went through hell to have him and raise him up. I can close my eyes and see another woman take him away from me. No! That is where you get it wrong, ma. Nobody wants to take your son away from you. We shouldn't be in a competition over loving your son. The love your son has for you is safe. Because no other woman could give him the kind of love that you have. But keeping him under your armpits would only destroy him, can't you see? 
This woman is right, Papa. Dennis never treated me well all the time we were together. There was always one girl in the background somewhere. Let's go, Papa. Let's leave them alone to do whatever they want with themselves. Are you sure about this? Yes, yes, yes. I'm, I'm ready to leave again. Yes, let's go. Kerry, 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 please don't go. Kerry, please, please. Don't go. Don't, don't, don't leave me here. Don't leave me like this, please. I beg you. Please. Please, Kerry. You don't need me, Dennis. I need you. You need your mother. Let her fix what she broke. Goodbye, Dennis. Kerry. Kerry, please. Kerry, please don't go. Kerry. Kerry. Jojo. Ah! I'm here, I'm here for you, I'm here. Ah, tell us, come here. Yes. You can't leave me like this now. Release my son. What? Release him this way. Ah. Come on. Yes. Come on, come on. Mommy, mommy. I'm here. I can't stay here. Come on, release my son, Jojo. I, 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 I can't stay here. I'm here. Come on, come on. Hi. I'm glad you you still remember my name. It's been a long time. You know, the last time I saw you was at Jojo's house with your back to me, telling me to sort myself out, fix my life, eh? I took your advice. Oh, yes, I did. What's up, babe? Let's go. What do you mean? Yeah, hi. Uh... Dennis, tell me, how'd he go? I lost her. You what? I lost her, I lost her forever, man. I've lost the only woman that I truly love. I lost her to someone else. I lost the only woman that I have truly loved because the only thing that you did, mother, was ensure that you led me down the path of destruction. That is the only thing that you did. The only thing that you did was to take away from me the one thing that I desired so much, mother. The only thing that you did was to break my heart in so many ways. That is the only thing that you did. But I am leaving you. Oh yes, I will leave you. Because after this time, I can't stay here and still see you. I 
as my mother. I am going to die a lonely man, mom. No. You know why? Because the only woman that I truly love now belongs to another man. I'll be prepared to die that same way, mother. Because I will leave you. I will turn my back on you and you would never see me again. 